hi guys welcome to my channel today's video i'm gonna show you how i made my crochet bucket hat by miyu miyu we need scissor stitch marker 4.25 millimeter hook darning needle and this my scrap yarn i have here uh most of my yarn is number four medium yarn a little bit thicker I have cotton I have acrylic and I have here number one super fine and I have here number three so I'm going to combine these two yarns you can use whatever color you like make sure guys that if you gonna combine two yarns together uh, make sure that it will not be thicker than the uh, number 4 medium yarn. To start, we're going to make a slip knot and chain 4. You can use magic ring if you want to, it's fine. But I'm going to use chain 4 to form a ring. So after chain 4, you're going to slip stitch into the first chain. I have trouble in this part. I'm sorry about that. So after this slip stitch, now we have a, a ring here. Chain 2 and make 12 double crochet inside the ring. To double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook inside the ring, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Always hold this tail with you so we're gonna pull this later to make the center tighter. So go ahead, make 12 double crochet inside the ring. Always remember the chain 2 or the 2 chains doesn't count as a stitch. The first row is done. So we're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. And we're going to change the color. To change the color, you're going to grab your new color. And then slip stitch after you slip stitch you're gonna pull a little bit tighter and leave enough tail to wave it in and we're going to make a knot or tie a knot so it will not be loose while you're doing your bucket hat so tie two times to start the row two you're gonna chain two and make two double crochet in each stitch you can use your stitch marker here on top of the first double crochet for the beginners but I think it's easy to remember or to know where is the top of the double crochet because we're gonna slip stitch after this row so go ahead do your double crochet in each stitch and now we're going to change color we're not going to finish the double crochet like this and then you're going to grab your yarn your color insert slip stitch and then you're going to tie the two ends of yarn make sure it is tighter enough I tie my uh, two yarns twice so it will not lose and then we're going to wave it in after 
So go ahead and finish this row. We're done. Row 2. Slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. I'm going to use two tone of color. Number 1 and number 3. And then I'm going to slip stitch. Next is row 3. To start row 3, chain 2 and uh, one double crochet into the first stitch next stitch you're going to put two double crochet and that is the increase so the pattern is one double crochet one increase repeat this pattern all the way around and you can change your color so go ahead and do your row three I change color once only so in this round I only have uh, two colors every rows you have to change your color so row four the pattern is two double crochet next two stitches and one increase start with chain two and then first stitch you have to put or you have to make one double crochet next stitch one double crochet and into the third stitch you have to increase and that is the pattern in this row four i'm going to use same color of yarn start and last of the row do this every other row on that way it won't be visible the line where you slip stitch so go ahead and finish your uh, row four You can use three different colors or two like that so in this row I use only two different colors and so just like I said you have uh, to use the same color start and last of your row so that way it won't be visible the line where you slip stitch So you're gonna do this every other row next you're gonna change color again this time I'm gonna use two tone or two colors white and black and we're going to start row 5 row 5 the pattern is three double crochet next three stitches and one increase so one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and then one increase chain two first stitch one dc second stitch one DC 
third stitch one DC and into the fourth stitch two DC so that is the pattern for row five so go ahead do your row five change your color so in this row I have four different colors I have a little bit seam here the white make sure that you gonna tie enough this I didn't tie enough I'm gonna fix this later guys sorry about that I tie uh, loose so we're going to start the row six row six chain two one DC first stitch one DC second stitch one DC third stitch and one DC fourth stitch and into the fifth stitch you're gonna increase and that is the pattern for row six so in this row I'm gonna use same color to my first and last row so I use this in this row, I use three colors only. So I'm gonna use yellow again to end up this row. And then I'm gonna connect, or I'm gonna slip stitch to the yellow color. So this is the technique that I like to do in this project. I don't want to visible the lines where you slip stitch. row 7 and this is the last row that we're going to increase so chain 2 5 double crochet next 5 stitches and 1 increase it's up to you guys how many times you're gonna change your color in one row it depends what the um, available color you have so go ahead and finish row 7 I use uh, two tone again of yarn So in this row 7, I use 4 colors. So the size of uh, the top of this hat is 6.5 or over 6.5 inches and it is uh, perfectly fit. So I finished this row 7 change color again so row 8 we're going to do a um, 1 DC in each stitch back loop only so the back loop is in this So back loop only guys, work on back loop only. No more increase. And this is row 8. 
So in this row, I'm going to use again same color, start and end, or first and last, like this, guys. So I use uh, sage color, start, and then I'm going to end up into sage color. Do this in every other row, and trust me, it will be pretty. So... We're going to slip stitch here on top of the double crochet. I'm going to show you guys. This is how it looks like. So it won't visible the line. So to start the row 9, same pattern but we're going to work on both loops. So one DC in each stitch. So go ahead and finish your row 9 to 16. I finished the row 1 to 16. Row 17, we're going to work on the brim. Row 17, we're going to work on front loop only. And we're going to increase. The pattern is 6 DC, next 6 stitches, and into the 7th stitch, you're going to increase and that is the pattern for row 17 it's all up to you guys how many times you're gonna change your color I did mine uh, three times four times in every round so go ahead and finish your row 17 so the pattern is 6 DC into the next six stitches and into the seventh stitch increase repeat the pattern all the way around and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this row row 18 same as row 17 but we're going to work on both loops so six double crochet next six stitches and into the seventh stitch you're going to increase In this row, I'm going to use same color of yarn, start and end of this row. So go ahead and finish row 18. And I'll meet you at the end of this row.
row 19, chain 2, and we're going to make 1 DC in each stitch. Row 20, I'm going to use two colors, blue and red, and I'm going to use this all the way around, no changing color. So row 20, and this is our last row, you're going to repeat row 18. Six double crochet next six stitches and one increase so go ahead and finish your last row We're here at the end of the row 20, we're going to slip stitch and then chain 1 and cut your yarn. I run out the yarn but I still use the red and blue. And guys, it's time to wave in ends. Always waving ends into the same color. And here we're done look at the inside of the bucket hat it's very clean and this is the outside of the bucket hat pretty neat I guess thank you for watching please subscribe and like